Assalamualaikum Example 15 Example ini sama situasinya dengan uh, example 5 dalam physics module. So sebenarnya pelajar-pelajar semua telah pun identify uh, forces pada uh, sistem ini. So mari kita tengok uh, soalannya. Three blocks are in contact with each other on a frictionless horizontal surface. Ah, uh, nasib baik tak ada tak ada friction. As shown in figure 2. As shown in figure 4.21. Okay. So, saya salah bagi nombor kat situ. A horizontal force F is applied to M1 as shown in the figure. So given that the mass is 3.5 kg for mass 1, mass 2 is 4 kg and mass 3 is 5 kg and the external force is 30 newton. Calculate the acceleration of the system. Mass 1, mass 2 and mass 3 are in contact and all of them are moving with the same acceleration. They are moving with a common acceleration A. So, to solve question A, we can consider mass 1, mass 2 and mass 3 as a system. So, let's consider mass 1, mass 2 and mass 3 as a system. Sebagai satu system, saya labelkan M. So, the forces on this system is just external force to the right. So, let's look at the free body diagram. And then I have the normal force of the system and the weight of the system. The acceleration of the system is to the right. So, we can apply Newton second law sum of f in this case x component is equals to m a so the the only forces the only force acted on uh, on this system is f so f to the right and positive lah maksudnya is equals to m times a so m this capital m maksudnya keseluruhan sistem so m is Capital M is M1 plus M2 plus M3 times A. And we have that the external force is 30 Newton. Mass 1 is 3.5 plus 4 kilogram plus 5 kilogram times A. And the acceleration is equal to 2.4 meter per second square. Okay, so that is for part A. For part B, we need to calculate the magnitude of contact force between mass 1 and mass 2. Now, in this case, we need to consider mass 1 and mass 2 as a separate system. Let's identify forces on mass 1. On mass 1, we have external force F. We have normal force 1, we have weight downward, and the normal force by surface of object 2 on object 1. So, kita simbolkan dengan normal force on object 1 by surface object 2. And that's all. So, we have 4 forces. 1, 2, 3, and 4. For object 2, we have normal force 2, weight 2, normal force by uh, on object 2 by object 3 and a normal force uh, on object 2 by object 1. So our target in part B is actually we want to find normal force on object 1 by 2 or normal force by object uh, on object 2 by 1. So, this is the contact force. Now, according to Newton's third law, for every action force, there is uh, an equal but opposite reaction force. So, N12 and N21 is actually uh, have the same magnitude but acted in opposite direction. So, N 2, 1 is equals to, or N, 1, 2 is equals to negative N, 2, 1. 
So sebenarnya kita boleh cari N12 pun boleh untuk selesaikan soalan ni. Kita boleh cari N21 pun boleh. Okay. However, if we look at uh, the second diagram, kita juga tak ada N2, N23. Ini pun juga un, unknown. Therefore, agak complicated untuk kita gunakan diagram yang ke, diagram yang kedua. So, saya rasa tak perlulah saya lukiskan free body diagram untuk uh, objek Uh, dua Tapi mari kita tengok free body diagram Pada objek yang pertama Sebab kita sekarang ni nak cari N12 ataupun N2 21 Magnitude dia sah Sama So Kita ada force to the right External force Normal force N1 With 1 And the normal force exerted On object 1 by object 2 So this is our target Now The object is accelerating to the right with acceleration A. We can apply Newton's second law uh, for object 1. Sum of Fx is equals to Ma x because the acceleration is in x component. And then in the x component, we have F minus N12 is equals to M1 times A. Now, A is positive because to the right so we can substitute the numbers the external force f is 30 minus n12 is equals to m1 is 3.5 times the acceleration yang kita kira pada part a 2.4 meter per second square and saya akan dapat n12 is equal to 21.6 newton so Oh, they got. Oh, sorry, twenty one newton. Okay, so that's all uh, for example fifteen. Uh, sekiranya ada masalah, sila tinggalkan ruang komen ataupun tanya saya dalam kelas. Uh, diharapkan pelajar semua dapat salin. The next video will be example sixteen yang melibatkan pergerakan pada y component. So. Terima kasih.